Well, with a name like Thomas, you're sort of born as the doubting Thomas, you know, so healthy doubt is always good, but I'm an eternal optimist. I believe very strongly that we have ahead of us a very, very successful future. My name is Patrick Thomas. I am a professional engineer. I'm a fellow of the Royal Academy of Engineering, and I run a company. We have a very simple purpose, which sounds incredibly broad, which is to make the world a brighter place. What we mean by bright is a more intelligent use, smarter use of materials, which are lighter, have a better carbon footprint, and perform better in absolute terms than older style materials. So I was born and brought up in Portsmouth. I got very interested in engineering. My father was an architect and uh, was actually a closeted engineer. A very wise guy in the career service in Oxford said to me, he said, you do know that engineers can make a huge difference in the chemical industry. Everybody believes it's the problem, but actually there are opportunities to make it the solution. I think I just have this immense personal conviction that actually you can make breakthroughs. When we launched our company uh, onto the Frankfurt Stock Exchange, uh, the Handelsblatt magazine in Frankfurt announced us as a startup company with 80 years of history, 16,000 employees, and 12 billion euro of sales. Now that is a credit to how they see our company because we still feel like a startup company. We have been the leader in our field for 80 years, and yet the products are now totally different from what we were doing 80 years ago. The purpose hasn't changed. That's when you're getting to the purpose of the company, when you see what the benefit is that comes to humanity, the planet, whichever way you look at it, the environment, from that company existing. Carbon dioxide is a wonderful source of carbon. As soon as you think of carbon dioxide as a source of carbon, then your mind, from a chemist's point of view, opens up into a whole new spectrum. You can choose to believe carbon dioxide is a very good uh, feedstock for making materials or not. That happens instantly. That's the breakthrough moment. What is important about flying around the world in a solar impulse aeroplane? Why do I give solar cells to my kids as part of the sponsorship? Why does the Solar Impulse Foundation exist to help educate young people in science, technology, engineering and math? It exists because in that way we can inspire young people to think about the world differently. It has to start there. A round the world flight without a single gram of fuel in an aeroplane that is the size of a huge uh, jumbo jet and it has the weight of a small family car. Now, that's not the future, that's today. That's a real breakthrough. If you make a breakthrough in innovation, you cannot keep it to yourself. And that's very, very important. I think it's in a different way of thinking about how you make money. To keep it to yourself runs the risk that it would die. If you license it to everybody else, you guarantee that they change their view, they change their method of operation and they adopt your technology. And that's why we went from nothing to commercial manufacture of a product in less than 10 years based upon using carbon dioxide. That is way faster than traditional innovation technologies where everything's kept secret. So you've got to blow things open. Solar Impulse inspires a whole generation to see what is possible. And that's the important thing. And Having flown around the world in a solar aeroplane, what is most important next? It's what we take from that. For us, it was a flying laboratory. We've already got products that were developed for solar impulse into the marketplace, insulating refrigerators instead of pilots. The long-term benefit are the thousands of high school students who I've talked to about that project. They can see that what they thought was impossible is possible. How is that achieved? Because of innovation and science they can be those people in the future that make the massive innovations. And uh, then you make big change.